Good day and God bless. Welcome back to Verses from My Car. I am Dana. Today we're going to read chapter 14, reflection 14, from a book called Dare to Journey. And this one is a reflection of Mark 1, 35 to 38. So get out the Bible, flip over to Mark 1, 35 to 38. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, for therefore come I forth. Man, Jesus hardly ever took a rest, eh? Always on the go, except for when he was having time with his father. It's beautiful. Okay, so the reflection on that, the place of conversion, laying aside our own agendas. One of our persistent difficulties is that while we want to help, we do not want to change. We are quite willing to go to God to ask for strength, but not so willing to ask for redirection. We are happy to be encouraged, but not to be converted. In doing this, we are making the fatal assumption that we are o that we are okay in what we are doing and in our priorities. All we lack is adequate resources. And so we turn to God in prayer, asking for more grace, more of His Spirit, more of His power. Even in our search for solitude and inner peace, we are frequently motivated by the idea that we are simply looking to find greater inner energies in order to carry on with our own agendas. Newen, however, reminds us that the place of solitude is not a private therapeutical place. It is the place of conversion. It is not the place where we recharge our spiritual batteries and then continue to live as we have lived before. It is not the place where we catch our breath in order to madly re-enter the race. It is not the place where we simply find some quietness before we plunge into the world with its babble of voices. The place of solitude is where we are changed. It is the place where we abandon some of our agendas, where we acknowledge our compulsions, where we discover new directions, and where, more importantly, we find a new self. I think these are all lessons that we could all use here. I know I certainly could. Whether I'm reading the Bible or reading stories like this or listening to Bible studies or going to Bible study. There's always something to learn and there's always something that applies to you. When I used to go to churches when they were still open. Oftentimes I'd be sitting there and I'd be listening to it and it was almost, and I'm sure you've all had this. It's almost like the story that he's telling was written for you. And you're there because you need to hear it. I don't know how many times that happened. And it still happens when you open up the book. What a great book. I sincerely hope you're getting something out of this. I know I certainly am. So let's end today, as usual, with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Alright folks, I'll see you for the next one. Good day, and God bless.